Hey guys, what's up? So, today we're installing a, another bumper that I got. Um, this is the original bumper that came with the Trail Hunt Show. I was kind of messing around with it. Um, I'm going to take it off. I don't like it that much, even with the stuff I did to it. I also got uh, these Desert Lizard shocks with internal springs. So I'm also going to be installing those today. And a new body, which I will be installing this weekend when it's warm enough to paint it. Uh, this one's a little bit loose. Cool. Nice and tight. Okay. So I guess we'll open up this little baggie here. And it has a bunch of screws. This uh, uses metal pieces to mount into here. Instead of the plastic ones that the trail honcho comes with. So... Looks like these big screws, I would assume. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to put it in yet. I'm going to go ahead and install some of the other stuff. So it looks like these are four winches, definitely, most of the screw stuff here. So let's go ahead, I'm assuming these are used for this. Oh, these are uh, normal, these are normal screws. Not sure, oh, it will screw in here, okay. Nothing for it to really screw it into. I thought it wouldn't work, but it did. Now this side. So the reason I got this new bumper, for those of you that don't know, is the old bumper that I had, I actually installed that on the TRX-4. Um, it wouldn't work because it, uh, it was only on two screws, so it kind of pivoted up and down no matter how tight I made it. So I uh, bought this one instead, and this one uses these to mount right into here. So this will work a lot better than the last one. So I don't think I'll need any of these. I might though, so let's put them to the side. And then this is for installing these pieces. Okay, so I managed to get everything installed. I don't know if it's correct, but it works. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, and I'm going to take the lights off of this because this has a separate kind of connector. That's more meant for the trail honcho. One thing I am concerned about is that the lights won't reach. I don't think they're going to. Yeah, that's not even close. Okay, um, I guess I'll have to use these, but they're going to be really dim now, which is kind of annoying. But I guess that's what happens when you use this kind of connector, when there's the one meant for the lights.
Okay. Lighting is installed. And let's go ahead and screw these in. Thanks, water heater, for being really annoying. Our water heater is, uh, it's a tankless water heater, so it just heats the water that goes through it. So it's really noisy, and it's right behind me. Sort of, right behind me. Okay. So now I'll just go ahead and tighten these down with the correct size screwdriver. Okay, and now I have to get these into the receiver. So for probably the 20th time, I'm going to have to disassemble this little thing up on top. But first, I'm going to get this little bag, and I'm going to put all the screw stuff in it. I really wish RC stuff was manufactured at a higher quality. It's really annoying. Everything is just so crappy, and you pay so much for it. The bumper was $30 and the screw holes barely lined up. And with aluminum, that's really annoying because you can't bend aluminum to make the screws fit. It doesn't go into aluminum. If it doesn't go in, then it doesn't go in. fairly bright okay that's good all the other stuff that I have like the light bar and those little lights that I put on the wraith they're never very bright I'm assuming it's because there's too many little LEDs in them but I guess when there's just these two it works So that's all installed, and now I'm going to do the, the uh, shocks. So the reason I got these is because, well, one, I thought they looked really cool, but two, well, I mainly just got them because they look really cool, but, but these don't need shocks, I don't think, and they come with some. Which has me kind of concerned, because they're advertised as... They're supposed to be springless, or internal spring, or something like that. This whole process was pretty difficult and I had to figure out exactly what to do, so that's what this is, where I finally figured out what to do. Basically, um, I just found the perfect combination of springs and just added a little bit of oil and that's what I think made it work. Um, there's a lot of different combinations of, of springs, oil. but uh, the one I have I think is the best one. And some were very, very stiff, which I was surprised because I, I, I don't see how that would be useful at all. But.
Okay, I'm just gonna repeat this for these, and my camera battery is about to die, so I'm gonna shut off the camera. I just realized that that bar on top of the bumper is backwards, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. So at this point, I just kind of stopped recording because uh, I had to install the shocks, and I already did that in a different video, and it's difficult to do normally, and then on camera, it's even harder to do because um, the camera is in my way, and um, it's it's just different doing stuff in front of a camera versus normally. Um, so I just did it off camera, um, and all I have left now is the uh, body, which I did today, and that'll be up next weekend, and then the week after that uh, will be a driving video. So, hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one.